Hi everyone, Miss Tui here. You've learned a lot of color codes so far, so let's check your understanding with a maze. For today's lesson, you will need an Ozobot, fully charged and calibrated, color code markers, a pencil, your skills check activity sheet, and a color codes chart. In today's lesson, you will use color codes to navigate from home to a baseball game. Imagine it's Friday night and your school's baseball team has a big game tonight. You're super excited to go and cheer your team on. You just have to get through the maze to get to the baseball field. Be sure you have the color codes chart available for reference, either a printed copy or online. Take a look at the maze. Notice the first two color codes have four color blocks. That means you'll start out from your house with some special moves. Also notice how much space there is after each color code. The space after each color code will determine which special moves codes you can use. Remember the spin and tornado codes need about one and a half inches after the code and the zigzag and back lock codes need about three inches of straight black line after the code to properly execute the code and continue following the line. Which color codes can you use in the first space and have them execute properly? Which codes can you use in the second space? I'll put spin in my first space because it only needs an inch and a half after the code. The code is green, red, green, red. You could also use tornado. I'll use back walk in the second space because it needs more room to perform the action. I'll fill in red, green, black, blue. You can use any of the special moves codes in the second space. Can you use spin or tornado in the first color code blanks? Then choose a special moves color code to fill in the second color code blank. As you continue along the maze, you will come to another color code space followed by an intersection. Which way does Ozobot need to go to continue on the maze? Take a moment to look carefully. If Ozobot goes straight, it will come to another intersection, but there is no space for a color code to tell it which way to go. If Ozobot turns left, it will continue on with the maze. I'll fill in the left at intersection code, which is green, black, red. Remember, the color code needs to be filled in with the green block being the first color Ozobot will read as it goes over the code. Can you fill in the left at intersection color code starting with the green square so Ozobot reads the colored squares in the correct order? As Ozobot goes left at the first intersection, it comes to another color code space and another intersection. Again, look carefully to decide which color code to use. Notice the direction your bot will be traveling as it arrives at the next intersection. Turn your paper around if needed. Your bot should make a left turn. I'll color the blocks starting with green at the top so that it is the first block my bot will read as it goes over the color code. Can you fill in the left at intersection color code starting with the green square so Ozobot reads the colored squares in the correct order? Continuing along the maze, there is a color code space without an intersection following it. I'll use that space to fill in a speed color code. I'll program my bot to go fast using blue, black, blue. What speed would you like your Ozobot to go? Now it's your turn to figure out the rest of the maze. As a hint, you'll use four more direction at intersection codes, one more speed code, and one spin or tornado code to get to the baseball game.
What speed color code will you use? Fill in the speed code of your choice. Continue along the maze and fill in the remainder three or four block color codes. The very last color code on the maze next to the baseball game is two blocks. Only line end codes have two color blocks. In this case, I'll use a win exit play again code. The code is green blue. Be sure green is the first color your bot will see as it runs over the code. Can you add the last color code to your maze? Can you add the win exit play again color code to the end of your maze? Time to check your codes by running your bot. Place your Ozaba on home and watch your programming in action. If your bot didn't make it to the baseball game, go back and check your codes, make changes, and run your bot again. Make sure you're finished with the skills check. Does your maze have three special moves codes? Does your maze have five direction codes? Does your maze have two speed codes and a win exit code? Does your Ozobot travel from home to the baseball game and celebrate? If you'd like more to do, you can create mazes with friends and challenge one another. Come back again soon.